Um, my name is Melodine Dipto, working with Plant Village in Kenya as a coordinator of uh, projects in uh, Asal region. And uh, now I'm in Samburu County and uh, Plant Village came in during uh, the locust crisis that is back in 2020. And um, we started with Samburu County uh, where we trained uh, a team of uh, 11 scouts. Um, Plant Village uh, developed an app called eLocust 3M app which was uh, developed for the UNFAO to be used for uh, locust monitoring and surveillance. Uh, so we had to recruit a team of uh, a young scouts or the a youth who were to go out and do the surveillance using the app and in return they could give us uh, feedback on the performance of the app. So we started with Samburu County where we had uh, 11 scouts then we moved to Isiolo County, where we had uh, seven of them. Then Marsabit, we had 11. And Turkana County, we had uh, 23 of them. So after the locust uh, crisis, so we came back for the post-locust monitoring, where we thought that the most affected people were the pastoralists in terms of the vegetation and the animal diseases. So we decided to bring in a new project uh, for the animal disease surveillance. And for that, we incorporated an aspect of uh, the animal survey in our Plant Village Nuru app. And uh, in this app, uh, we recruited the CDRs, who are the community disease reporters, to use the app in their community uh, for reporting the animal diseases, or the syndromic surveillance of the diseases, which will help the county to do the monitoring. Yeah, so the CDRs offer the extension services to pastoralists and uh, helping them to understand the importance of reporting animal diseases, uh, the importance of uh, maybe vaccinations, taking the animals for vaccinations, and also the animal husbandry practices. Kwa majina ni Charles Longro, CDR, na hapa ni Opiroi Location. Na huwa tunafanyanga kasi, tunafanyanga kasi ya kutembelea wafugaji, kuangalia tu eh, kuangalia ugonjwa ya wanyama na saa zingine tuna tunatembelea hawa tuki tukiona sasa tuseme ugonjwa ambaye ni naathiri wanyama sana kama PPR CPP na zingine mingi tuki tukiona tu au Sisi tuna report back kwa county office. Sasa singine Melody, Mr. Madam Melody, jepto anatutembelea, anakuja kututembelea kuangalia app, na pia tunatembelea tuna, tuna wafugaji kuangalia tu wanyama venye ina, venye ina inandelea kuhatirika. We thought of also involving the community members because the, most of the scouts, they were youth, and we had 11 of them in Samburu, but we only took uh, two of them to do the project and uh, eight from the community who are the CDRs. That's the uh, community disease reporters. Yeah, so with the help of the, co the county government of Samburu, we recruited uh, eight CDRs. Most of them have been working with the county government. And uh, together with our two scouts, whom they were in the project before, so we trained them, we gave them smartphones, and uh, we released them to go out to the field and do the surveys for the, the first, uh, after the first training. So the eight CDRs, three of them comes from Samburu North. We have uh, three from Samburu Central and two from Samburu East and our scouts they also come from Samburu East so we link them to their sub-country veterinary officers of whom they'll be reporting to them and uh, again we have the county surveillance officer who always responds to their to, to their reports my name is dr simon mashira kiambi i'm the sub-county veterinary officer Samburu central and the county veterinary disease surveillance focal person uh, as the sub-county veterinary officer we are mandated to do regulation of all matters that have to deal with animal health within the sub-county and as the, as the uh, disease surveillance focal person for the county, we I collect all the data and uh, share information 
on the disease status for all animals within Samburu County among the partners, the administration, and national government. And we also do feedback to the pastoralists to inform them on uh, what actions they need to take in order to safeguard the, uh, the health of their livestock. We have been collaborating with Plant Village on uh, the areas of disease surveillance where they have helped the veterinary department uh, uh, to train some of the CDRs on how to report on diseases and uh, to link uh, the also farmers and pastoralists with the veterinary practitioners across the county. They have also helped the department uh, in terms of capacity building through provision of uh, uh, mobile handsets and uh, a laptop to enhance disease surveillance and reporting. Uh, we have also partnered with other partners such as ACTED in development of a veterinary handbook specifically for the Samburu County context to help farmers and the CDRs as well as veterinary practitioners in identification of diseases in their local languages. Uh, specifically we have received a, a mobile handset which we have installed the plant village application which the office uses uh, to review uh, for any updates from the developers as well as uh, uh, get feedback from the CDR so that in case they are having any challenges when it comes to reporting on the app, we can update the developers and plant village staff on uh, the necessary reviews to be made on the app. In addition, the laptop helps us uh, to view what the CDRs are reporting, the nature of their reports and the quality of their reports and it helps us give us give feedback to the CDRs on areas where they can do improvement in terms of reporting where they have challenges we work with them in uh, overcoming those challenges when it comes to reporting in addition to that the laptop helps us in analyzing data that we have received which also helps us to share whatever information is uh, generated from those reports with other partners with our supervisors and uh, um, our animal survey form is, uh, was incorporated into Plant Village Nuru app and uh, the app is uh, found in the Google Play Store and you can always search uh, Plant Village Nuru app and you can download it and sign in, sign up. So then you click on the animal form, That's the, it's written animal, then it will bring you the form so then you start filling. So for the GPS it will capture automatically and again for the county so you start by filling the sub county the name of the village the pastoralist name so the name of the village is where the pastoralist comes from not where you come from yeah it's where the pastoralist comes from then you click or you you fill in the pastoralist name then again the pastoralist phone number and since most of the pastoralists don't have uh, maybe their phones or the uh, yeah phone number then a cdr or a scout will always input his or her own number so that the county will uh, will be able to trace it uh, to trace the location of the of the pastoral list easily yeah then after after that you select the animal or the species if you are examining an a, a, a cattle or sheep or a goat then you you select the animal then the number of animals at risk so uh, in the total herd, you count the or you ask the pastoralist the total number of animals that uh, he or she has, then the number of animals that has the symptoms and the number the total number of animals. So the number of animals at risk is the total number of animals in the herd apart from those that has uh, the symptoms. Then after that, you'll now mention the number of animals with the symptoms and then the number of animals that died in the last week or within that week. So yeah, this will always help the, the county or the vet to, to know which uh, the disease can be. Then um, after that, you select the symptom started date, when the symptoms started. So these are the answers that you receive from the, from the pastoral list. And when engaging with the pastoral list, it's not always a yes or a no answer. So there are those approaches that a CDR or a scout uses uh, in the pastoral list so that you can be able to get a lot of information and like asking directly where you can get a yes or a no answer. So uh, before you even start filling the form, 
you will have uh, take the history from the pastoral list that's the history taking eh, from the pastoral list so you'll be able to fill in the form without uh, asking back the pastoral list so that applies in there when the symptoms started some of them will not know the exact date but uh, they can give you a range like at the beginning of the week midweek or the late last week or late this week so you'll be able to to know which date to to quote in the in the form then after that then we have now a list of the symptoms according to the systems the first one is the or oh, first you you have to select the age affected if it's the adult or the young ones or if it's both then you 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 click both then the list of the symptoms that's uh, we have the respiratory system if you see any symptoms related to the respiratory system then you select then we have uh, the cardiovascular system the examples of the symptoms are the pale white mucous membranes or the congested red mucous membrane so if you see any of the symptoms then you click on that then we have the urinary system reproductive system cutaneous system digestive system lymphatic system musculoskeletal system and the nervous system so all those systems have the the common symptoms so you just click on the the, the symptoms that you see in an animal then after that we have the other symptoms so in case you see any other symptom that is not listed in the symptoms then you can add but we have the post-mortem signs which uh, it's not uh, mostly filled in by the, the CDR or in case a CDR or a scout meets a farmer with a dead animal and they have, uh, uh, the farmer himself ha has decided to slaughter the animal then you can always maybe just capture the the symptoms that you see yeah from a slaughtered animal but they are not allowed to to do so then we have the tentative diagnosis uh, when you are filling the app according to your symptoms you can always give a, a tentative diagnosis then uh, the treatment advice given so the CDR or the scout will call their, their veterinary officer or their animal health assistant within their region and explain to them the symptoms that they have seen in the animal or from a pastoral list and um, they can always uh, when the, the vet officer or the animal health assistant gives them a direction of the treatment, then the CDR now gives the advice to the pastoral list. And then the treatment given, that is in case uh, the pastoral list himself or herself has treated the animal, then the CDR can always indicate yeah, the type of the drug that the pastoral list has used. Or if um, the veterinary officer directs the, the CDRs to treat the animal, then he has to, to capture the, 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 the drug that he used or the treatment given to the animal. So after listing all the, the symptoms, the CDR has to take the, the image of the animal. Uh, and the image targets where the symptoms are because we understand that images speaks more than than the word so even if you you don't understand about the symptoms and you do an image so the officer will will get the the point where we understand more then the last section is on the comment so you can always add any comment maybe uh, uh, about the environment or the animals the state of the animals in the area or yeah, anything else that you can add and then you can submit. Yeah, so the CDRs over the extension services to pastoral lists and uh, helping them to understand the importance of reporting animal diseases, uh, the importance of uh, maybe vaccinations, taking the animals for vaccinations and also the animal husbandry practices. So uh, once the CDRs and the scouts submit all their animal surveys, so we receive it in the plant village server, we call it AG Observatory, where we go through the, all the surveys with the sub-county co uh, 
veterinary officers or the county surveillance of officer here in uh, Samburu Central, Maralal, the, the county offices. And then uh, in case of any notifiable diseases, then the county surveillance officer will respond to them uh, by uh, maybe doing the vaccination or reaching out to the responsible CDR. Then we also have uh, the, the data analysis where we submit it uh, daily or weekly to the sub-county surveillance officer and he also has access to it so it will help to uh, whenever they are reviewing their surveys with the county, the other county officers. Uh, my name is Dr. Alekuku Amos, uh, veterinary officer, Samburu Central, Sam County. After we get um, reports from community that CDRs and uh, farmers themselves or any other person reports diseases, we need to investigate. We do what's called a, outbreak, a, out, a disease outbreak investigation where we move to the field after collecting enough data first to ascertain whether there is a disease. Because at times there are cases where we, we get a, an alarm, false alarms, and when you go to the field you find that it, it common diseases that are not supposed to to be treated as outbreaks. So we go there, we do investigation, we treat whatever the animal that we get there, and we collect sample. Besides collecting enough data, after collecting samples, we come here, we have our small lab, what we can test here, we, we do. What we can't, we send to uh, advanced labs that are down country, and then we wait for for, for, for the results, which we we use to uh, to acquire resources for vaccination, we keep a number of uh, livestock species here, including but not limited to cattle, sheep, goats, and even poultry, which is quite upcoming. And uh, each one of them has uh, common diseases that affect one. Uh, maybe we can start from cattle. The most common ones, we have uh, lumpy skin disease, foot and mouth disease, East Coast fever, anaplasmosis, and other tick bone diseases. Go to sheep and goats, we get, uh, we mostly uh, get uh, CCPP, which you call caprine, contagious caprine little pneumonia. We have PPR. We have uh, anaplasmosis and um, worms, which we call hematitis in, in, in science. Um, poultry, uh, common infectious disease in poultry is a Newcastle disease, uh, infectious bronchitis, um, poultry pox. Those are some of the very common, that, you know. Uh, um, Every year, after a very few months, we get outbreaks of those, those kind of diseases. Um, camel, we also have some camel, though the number of camels that we, we uh, the farmers keep in Tambro Central is quite low. But we still have some diseases like camel pox, camel cough, um, hemorrhagic sepsis. So, those are some of the most common uh, diseases we we, we 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 come across yeah